Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a clothing haul from Pretty Little Thing, which has fast become one of my very favorite places to shop for clothing. I never used to be a big online shopper, and that's basically because I didn't really trust online shopping. And that's basically because of my size and my sizing. I'm kind of all over the shop when it comes to sizing. I have a smaller waist and then I have broad shoulders and I got big hips but then I've got little boobs. So it's kind of like my sizing is quite particular and I find it really hard to find things that actually fit me online because some clothing I might be a small and then other clothing I might be a 12. So my sizing isn't consistent so it's very hard for me to shop online when I can't try the clothes on, you feel? So the clothes that I have here today are a mixed bag of things. I've got some basics, I've got some more like nice going out dresses, um, and then some like casual things thrown in there as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I got, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with the basics. I picked up a couple of t-shirts. You'll notice that the color palette for this haul is very like blush toned pinks and neutral colors. That's me, that, that is my lane. I like black, gray, neutral earthy, like camel colors and then like blush tones. That's my lane, I'm sticking to it. Okay, so the first thing that I have here is a t-shirt. This is just a really basic t-shirt. And the thing that I absolutely love about this is the material is so, so soft. And the funniest part about this is I got this during a 50% off sale, which I've noticed I actually do all the time. There's always a sale on and it's usually 50% off. So this t-shirt I think cost me like six bucks, um, Australian dollars, which is pretty cool if you ask me because it's quite cheap, but the fabric is really soft, nicer than some of my t-shirts that cost me like $99 crazy. It's still got a little bit of stretch to it so it's super comfortable and the sleeves are quite long so it is a t-shirt style. Some t-shirts aren't quite long enough in the sleeves for me. I feel like some t-shirts kind of stop here on females and I kind of like the the guy style where the t-shirt comes down a little bit longer um, down the arm and it's more of like a T rather than like these little cap sleeves that I just don't really like. But this has a nice long sleeve on the arm which I really really like. The next t-shirt that I got is that same really soft stretchy material and it also has the long sleeves. But this one is shorter at the front than it is at the back so you have kind of like a drapey long back to it and then the front is a little bit shorter. And the back also has these really cute like triangle cutout details, which is just something a little bit different in a t-shirt. It's like, surprise! Got a little bit of back showing, which can be a little bit sexy and kind of cool, and just something a little bit different for a t-shirt. And if you don't want to have your back exposed, you can always just chuck on a leather jacket and people wouldn't know any different. And speaking of t-shirts, next thing that I got is literally a t-shirt t-shirt. So this t-shirt here is your standard cotton t-shirt. It doesn't have any stretch to it and it's not as soft as the first two t-shirts that I showed you. It's just like a basic cotton t-shirt and it is oversized as well. So I would kind of stick to your true sizing with this one. I wouldn't go up or down one. Um, just because it is oversized. I mean, you might want to go down a size just in case it's too oversized, but I think that's kind of the cool style of it just being kind of like a boyfriend tee. And then on the back, you have the definition of a t-shirt, in case you didn't know what a t-shirt was. <laughs> I kind of think it's a little bit cool. I'm not really one for slogan tees, um, unless it's something really cool. I'm not really about it, but I do like to read other people's t-shirts if they say something on it. I'll like stare at them at the bus stop like what does your t-shirt say and I'll like creepily read it and I probably look like the biggest weirdo staring at people but if you have writing on your t-shirt I'm gonna read it and so yeah this one just has the definition of a t-shirt which I think is pretty cool and I really love the color of this one as well it's that nice camel color that's really in at the moment and it looks amazing with denim so good 
Next I have something a little bit more formal. I got these because I thought that they would be really great pants to dress up and dress down. It's a little bit hard to show you pants on camera especially because they are black so details don't really come up too much. But basically these are just a high waisted pair of pants. They're kind of like a corporate style but I think you could kind of dress them down or dress them up if you wanted them to be a little bit more casual or um, a little bit more dressy. They also have this little cutout at the top which is just kind of cute as a little bit of detail detail something a little bit different and I love the fact that the zipper is actually on the side so because they are high-waisted sometimes your zipper like kind of pulls a little bit with high-waisted stuff especially if you've had a big lunch if you feel me so I tend to like zippers that are at the back of high-waisted stuff or on the side and these are on the side and it is an in invisible zipper so when it is zipped up it is very difficult to see it which is nice because if you're wearing high-waisted stuff most of the time you're wearing like a crop top or something tucked into the pants so you can see the top of them and you don't really want to be seeing like a massive zipper on the side so I quite like that they've used an invisible zipper on this one. To go with the pants I got this really cute little cropped top with little frills on the arms. Now I am not normally a frills girl. Don't do frills. I don't wear I don't wear girly things. I don't like wearing like floral print or like pretty things that are too pretty pretty. I'm not about it but Something about the whole cropped thing with these and the way that they were styled on the website, I was like, hmm, those are some frills I could do. It's not too pretty pretty because it's black as well, but the frills on the arms um, kind of go to three quarter length and then it is a crop. So the frills kind of go around your waist area. So high waisted pants or high waisted skirt would look great with this top. I thought it would be fun as well to dress it up or dress it down. Like I said, it's kind of depends on the styling of this shirt. You could pair it with a number of things, especially because it is black. So it's going to go with most stuff. Now this next one has got to be one of my absolute favorite things that I got. Oh my God, I have been living in this. It is the most comfortable sweater dress ever. And it's such a cool color. How pretty is this blush pink? It's basically a big oversized sweater dress. So the arms are so thick. It's so big, I can't even show you properly. It's got these cool striped details on the side, which are so, oh, it's so dang cute. I just love it so much. It was one of those things I was umming and ahhing about. I'm like, will I wear this? And now I live in it. Like I literally live in this it's warm it's cozy it is coming into winter here in australia so oh this is just i love it so so much i have been wearing it as kind of like my lounge wear so i've just been lounging around the house with this on um i wear this when i'm editing and stuff but i feel like if you wanted to wear it out totally could pair it with some sneakers i paired it with some rose gold sneakers from witchery i think it just looks so cute and oh I love it so much. It's just such a pretty color and like I said I love gray and white and blush toned nudie pinks. Tick tick tick. The best. Moving on into some going out dresses. I picked up two dresses that are very similar in style but they're kind of a different material. Um, the first one I got was this blush tone pink dress. It ruches up at the side here so it creates this drape across your stomach which I find so flattering and it's got a nice split up this side as well which again I find really really flattering. It's super stretchy as well so it's going to hug your curves beautifully and it's such a pretty color. I am obsessed with this color at the moment. I feel like everyone is. But I just, I couldn't go past it. The colour, the fact that it had that drape sort of detail across the belly was something that I gravitated towards. I am not the skinniest of girls by any means and I like to eat. Food is the way to my heart. So if I can wear a dress that still makes me look sexy, is curve hugging, but I still get to eat a big meal, you've won me over. And because I love that one so much, I also got it in a different kind of material. So this material is a little bit more see-through, but it's kind of metallic-y, which is fun. But it's not scratchy at all. When I bought it, I was like, oh, I don't know, it's going to be scratchy and itchy. like." But 
it's not scratchy at all, thank God. And again, the material comes across in the side here to create a nice drape. It's a little bit hard to see, but you'll see it when I'm trying it on. And it's got the split up the side again. So I just thought this was pretty cool. Something to throw on. You could kind of obviously wear it out as like a formal kind of party dress. I'm not really the biggest partier, but I thought it would be nice to have something like this for events. And just to have something a little bit different because it is like shiny and metallic. I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe at the moment. So it was good to pick this one up. Last but certainly not least, one of the coolest things that I picked up was this gold set. Ooh, child. This gold set is so beautiful. Oh my god. Glitter like falls off it and goes everywhere but it is so so beautiful so the skirt is actually quite long however the inside skirt lining I'm, I don't know the terminology for this stuff because I'm not a fashionista by any means um, but basically the inside lining skirt is shorter than the outside material so it's quite long but it's see-through towards the bottom which is quite a cool little fun thing that I really liked about it and then the crop top is like a v-neck which is quite nice on the tatars like I said before though I have really small boobs so it wasn't too booby on me even though the v-neck does come down quite low it wasn't that like booby on me because I don't have boobs but oh my god when the light hits this dress it is just insanely beautiful when the sunlight hits it oh if you are looking for a dress that say you have an event coming up and you want to walk into the room and have all eyes on you this is the one this set is for you and that's everything that is everything that i got from pretty little thing i hope that you guys enjoyed watching this try on haul like i said this is my very first try on haul so i don't actually know what i'm doing here i'm um just winging it as they say winged my liner winged this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you want to see another try on clothing haul. I have a couple of favorite places to shop online. So if you want to see any more clothing try on hauls, then do let me know so I can film them for you. And hopefully this one wasn't too much of a disaster. Um, all right, so that is everything from me. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will see you in my next video, if not sooner. Bye.